He was the one, but he's now gone. He's joined Barcelona. Juan Bernard has left the club. Sad to see, but it's time for us to move on. Goodbye, old friend. Yup, we desperately need to sign a replacement. A quality left back is needed. The good thing is, we're looking at 56 million to spend. And guess what? We are in the January trans window. Oh boy, we're getting that left back signing sorted. And I've got to decide, do I want to go for a youngster? Probably not, because Balde is there to be that young fullback. I want to sign a super high rated player. I don't care if he's old as well. If, he, if he's like 29, 30, good for me. That's the kind of player I'm looking for. Experience in the back line because I feel like we've got the squad to potentially win the Champions League so signing that quality left back could be the key a Ben Chilwell wouldn't be too bad of a signing you know he's 30 nearing his prime I mean he is at his peak you could say oh he'll be too expensive he's gonna cost us between 61 and 84 million what about someone like Jose Gaia would that be more reasonable he's 31 85 overall now we're talking Gaia could be the man he could retain his overall for a fair bit we could get him for a good deal. Looks like he's the man. If Gaia's worth that much, what about Andy Robertson? Let's quickly have a look at Robertson. He's 32, a bit older, and he's worth 53 million. This would be a bit stupid. Robertson, unaffordable. One more left back I want to consider. It's Renan Lodi. I saw a few comments about him, actually. Renan Lodi, again, this will be too expensive. If his contract was expiring, we could. I think Jose Gaia is the best bet. I know he's 31, but he's going to give us a couple of good seasons, which I guess is all we need to potentially win the Champions League. So how is his value gone up to 42 million almost instantly? We're going to drop a 41 million offer, try and get a better deal. They're willing to work with 49. This seems very reasonable, guys. We'll counter with 45. There you go. That's done. We're signing Jose Gaia, another Spaniard, to replace Bernard. Let's go. Big signing, man. And I wanted to do this before that big game we've got in the Premier League today. I'll let you know what that is, but it's massive. Um, We, we need to get that left back signing sorted. Crucial squad role for Bernard. Perfect. We'll give him a three-year deal, which you should accept. Let's go. Wage-wise, he's willing to take a cut. No clean sheet bonus or any of that sort. That's a good offer. Gaia accepts. We've made our new left-back signing, and I think we're done with signings in January. We can now focus on what's left, which is the Premier League and soon the Champions League. Oh boy, let's put him in our team. All right, there you go. Balde is probably going to go on as the bench, and then we can put in Jose Gaia right there. You'll love to see it. That team is insane. Even Pembele is growing fast. We've got a team, man. Do you guys think it's good enough to win the Champions League? Only time will tell. Our next game is against Arsenal. It's first versus third. The situation is clear. We got to beat Arsenal to be in the Premier League title race. We're four points off. We will, we will be four points off them if we can beat them here. If we can't, we'll be ten points off. This is a potential, I wouldn't say title decider, but a potential game for us to be involved in the title race. Massive. Sadly, Alvarez is out with a sprained knee for the next three weeks, so he's going to miss this one. Uh, Pembele is probably not going to play this, so we're going to play Balde on that right side, or do I want to play Gaia? I'll keep Gaia on the left because it's his debut, so that's the kind of squad I think we're looking at for this game against Arsenal. Problematic. Even Asensio isn't looking good, man. Might be time to use Jack Diamond. It's been a while since we've put diamond in the team we're gonna do that plus Reina's looking tired so we'll play some bios at cam a lot of changes but regardless of that we need a result here i just realized arsenal have got neymar what even wow this is as must win a premier league game gets for us let's do this come on by the way as soon as we win the champions league in this series it's done could happen this season could happen next season and then we'll be looking at a new career mode to run on the second channel uh that'll be a lot of fun so bios Declan Rice Raymond Arch. I see that pass. I almost got there. Come on. We got to keep pressing. Balde is getting the biggest test of his life. Playing as a right back in a game like this. It's huge for him. Oh, Bukayo Saka's done me there. Looks for the ball inside. El Nasseri going for goal. Good save. Barovic. Oh, that's a very good ball in. We should get it away. No, no. What's happening? Ray Menard does well. Again, another big game for him with Alvarez's injury. Emil Smithrow against his former club. Couple of night nice touches. Looks inside for Ceballos again. That's against this former club as well. She's Curtis Jones. I see Balde out wide. I'm not going to cross with his right foot, but I'm going to bring it inside. Ray Menard looks for Smith Rowe. I see that pass for Danny Ceballos. This is looking good. Across to the back post. Now it's gone straight away into no man's land that was the worst cross ever we're actually holding our own even with all the changes man that's tremendous here's jack diamond looking for a ball back inside for curtis jones 
We lose it away in a silly manner. That's got to stop. Can't believe Arsenal have managed to sign Neymar. Neymar is not going to be the same Neymar as before, but still... It's one hell of a signing. Uh-oh, we've been left way too open. Shots taken. That's one hell of a save from Barovic. I looked like we were going to concede there. Not going to lie. Diamond has put in a really good shift, you know. Fair enough. He's playing in the absence of, of course, Asensio. He's been one of our best players. And Diamond has really shined. It's one hell of a run from him. Looking for that cutback. So Bios turns. Falls for Curtis Jones. Oh, it's handball. Let's go. That's brilliant. The lock. Serginho Dest handles it. And we get a Premier League. Uh... A Premier League, we get a penalty. And it's a penalty that could put us right back in the title race. Such a random handball, but we take it. Now, in these circumstances, who takes the penalty here? Is that, is that Emil smith Row? Has he got the best penalty stats? Let's see. Declan Rice has got one of the highest in the team. You know what? We'll give good old Declan Rice this penalty to take. I'm going to go left. I'm going to go top left. Please, Declan, put this in. Easy. You'll love to see it. Declan Rice slots it home. And Harrogate Town take the lead against Arsenal. 1-0 up. Come on. El Nasseri. That's good stuff from Brandwith. I really like how dominant we've been in this game. This Arsenal team this season are looking like Premier League favourites. But so far... We've been the team to beat, and it's all wild. We've got so many good players missing. As Gaia, the debutant, brings it ahead. Looks for Ray Manager. Cut back for Smith Rowe. This should be a goal. It's 2-0 against Arsenal. A win here is exactly what we need. A statement as well. 2-0 up, under 40 minutes. Wow, what a performance. Hey, Jack Diamond has put in such a good performance, guys. Making those runs in behind. Simple cutback. Emil Smith Rowe. It's 3-0 up against Arsenal. What's going on here? We've completely he slapped them in this game. Utterly ridiculous from us. Let's go. Emil smith -Rowe against this former club is having a field day. Okay, Arsenal now finally attacking. This is... Okay, we can still defend this. I'm not I'm not worried at all. There you go, Tamori. Good stuff. And we've got the talent to play out of these situations very easily. Balde looking for Curtis Jones. Look at how we're turning defense into attack. Here we go. Jack Diamond out wide. We know he's got the pace. There he goes. Gets taken out cheaply by the Arsenal player. It's going to be a booking. All right, let's see what we can do with a set piece like this one. It's a very good ball in. And everybody ended up missing it. It was a peach of a ball, man. Oh, we still have it. No, we don't. Honestly, that looks like the saddest XG I've ever seen. 0.4 for Arsenal. You know what? Going to take this opportunity and maybe rest a few players. I reckon we can give Tomori a bit of rest. Certainly, we can give Emil smith Rowe a bit of rest. We'll play the man with the power. Simon Power for a brief bit. Yeah, that's a good choice. Not going to lie. I think Arsenal underestimated us. We've genuinely put everything we've got into this game. And it's paid dividends. Like, look at us attack, man. It's brilliant. Another chance possibly cleared away. But we should still win it back because we are relentless right now. <sighs> the attacking play has been on point. El Nasseri looking for Cunha. They've got some interesting players. But here's Savage. He's now literally a veteran. But still putting in a good shift. As we look for Simon Power. And he's on the run. It's been a long time since he's played. Tried the chip ball. But uh, didn't work out. It's good to see. The likes of Simon Power and all in action here because they've been club legends for so long. He's been here from day one. Turning in and out right there. Looking brilliant doing so. Still Danny Ceballos here. Tries the roulette. It's worked out well, but he couldn't get past the last defender. It's been phenomenal. By the way, what a debut from Gaia. Rock solid at the back. Great passing all round. Just a solid, solid player to use as we play some brilliant football. Ray Menard here. Looking for passing options maybe, but he's got the strength to hold out. Looks for Danny Ceballos here. Ah, the, the final defender there. Curtis Jones. I see some movement. I see some movement. Danny Ceballos controls it well. Looks for a chip. That was asking way too much. Oh. But I thought from that angle, a chip was our only option. Curtis Jones now looking for Danny Ceballos. Looking brilliant. Goes for the finesse shot. It's 4-0 against Arsenal. Danny Ceballos adds as well. This is a statement in the Premier League. I'm telling you, we've got everything we need to win the Premier League title this season. The team is unreal. It's just a matter of those simulation games working in our favour. Because on the pitch, the formula works. We're going to jump to result and see this one out. Because I think we stepped up big time. 4-0. Nothing much is changing. And that's how the game finishes. Brilliant performance. Yo, we've got a few big games coming up especially Wigan Athletic because results in this game could well and truly mean we'll be the cup final you know so that's important 
very, very important. Let's see what happens, and we're going to sim through the entire month of January. Before that, though, I want to see if there are any free agents available, any hidden gems, because we still have about 10 million and a good amount of wage budget to spend. So if I can improve the team in any which ways, we're going to look at it. I don't think at this point of the season we'll see any interesting players available as free agents. Usually, we get them at the start of the season, or that's about it, actually. Like, where we're not seeing anyone remotely interesting or any of the real players being available for free, which is... Well, Altshop is okay, I guess. But yeah, none of them looking particularly interesting or like must-sign players. So we're going to keep at it, I guess. Um, no need to sign any more free agents. Our squad for the rest of the season is going to be this. And can we really complain? I, I genuinely don't think so. Going to put Alvarez back in. We're going to put... Who else? Who else back in? Yeah, we've got to put Pembele back in. That's what the squad will look like when it's fully fit. And I think we're ready for the season. First of all, let's see if we can get through Wigan Athletic and make it to a final. We win the first leg 4-3. We lose to City. That's fine. If we get to the Carabao Cup final, I'm happy. We get results against Palace, but lose against Chelsea. That's an L. But we managed to beat Wigan Athletic in the second leg of the Carabao Cup. And that means we're in a final. Look at that, guys. A big chance to win a major trophy. Carabao Cup final against Chelsea. It's going to be key for us. We also pull up a win against Fulham on deadline day. With that, the window is over. As I said, our squad's ready to take on the rest of the season. When you look at that, after getting through all the games in this episode, we're at a three-point gap to Arsenal. That's a gap we can overcome. One point behind City. We're well and truly back in the title race after this episode. That win against Arsenal, absolutely crucial. Let's go, boys. We're back in the title race. Next episode, though, Champions League round of 16. Who we're we gonna draw? Who knows? Just for reference, we finished second in the group, so we're gonna get one of the big boys. Could be PSG, Inter, Leipzig, Barcelona even. Could be Madrid, could be Chelsea. There are no easy teams left for us. Oh boy. We're done with all our signings for this season. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Business end of the season. Champions League knockouts. It's gonna be tremendous. Catch y'all for the next one. Peace.